Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing Black Rose by Valley today here in the Sinking Ship in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube videos, as well as like and follow us on social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button. If you like Arcade, if you like Pinball, join our family. Click subscribe. Now, let's get this review underway, shall we? So again, this table has a little bit of a higher ball out uh, scenario to it. Always has, always will. That's just part of Black Rose. So plunger out, straight down the middle. Uh, of course, you got the ball and that uh, habit trail coming back at you that could go in there too. So first things first, the uh, the setup of this game is beautiful. Black Rose is well known for that. It's got a third flipper format to it. And again, there you go, your your high ball out to it. So. Let's talk about table mechanics beyond art. Art looks good. Theme, Black Rose, Pirates, love it. Great. Works very well. Uh, flipper gap, kind of wide. Wider gap, in lane to the left, right, out lane to the left, right. You got a lane that goes up to lock one, two, and three. Kind of goes around a little 90 degree curve back there, kicks back out on the rollover. Got a ramp to the right of that, that's jackpot that goes up uh, into the table. Got some targets to the inside of that. You have a uh, Davy Jones locker, which is off the third flipper skill shot that comes around and actually loops all the way around, kind of like a mini orbit of such on a ramp that comes back into the lane above the right, the, the top right play field flipper. Uh, you have another ramp that could be entered from the third flipper, which is beyond those three ramps. Uh, you have targets up beyond. You also have a forward side, which is straight shot, which will send it right back at you through the habit trail. Uh, you have targets coming down, pop bumpers to the back of that. You have a little whirlpool, sends it back on the habit trail back to your left end lane. And then you have your lane going up to the right, which will come around the back side of the table. So all in all, decent setup, three flippers, which is what a lot of people like these days. Two flippers is fun, but you know, having three flippers just makes it a little better. I will say I just saw a little uh, magnet action going on underneath that uh, center area, but the flipper, it actually spun my ball. So yes, soundtrack is what you would expect from uh, an older ballet. It's complimentary, it's not super great or anything. No sound bites that I can hear at this point. Ball goes airborne a lot on this table. There's that little 90 I was telling you about, so that's lock one, kicks it back out off the rollover, goes up goes up through that uh, that ramp to the top and comes right back out of that little area where the locks are. So great, great setup here. I mean, it's a fun table. It's fast, it's furious. Moderate's a light high difficulty on it. Replayability is there. It's a collector item. So with that said, great table. Check it out. Under the description of our video, you will find a review. Look there. It's all written out for you in a format that's easy to read. Uh, beyond that, please subscribe. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Thank you again for your time.